It's May 2016, and I just finished building my X-Carve machine from Inventables! I built a droid, you guys! Yeah, so it actually didn't take too long to put together. I just couldn't start working on it until January. Turns out, grad school is somewhat time-consuming. Who knew? All in all, it'd probably take the average person about two weeks worth of afternoons to put this thing together. It's conceivable that someone could build it in a weekend if you were an accomplished builder and that's all you did that weekend. My advice is to read the instructions while you're waiting for it in the mail so you know what you're in for. Just read through all of them. So that way, if you lose a piece and have to wait for a replacement or something, you can just move on to a different step. There's a part where you're just screwing metal inserts into this board here and uh, that was like an afternoon's worth of work that I could have done while waiting for the part in the mail. Comes in these three sizable boxes, or significantly smaller boxes if you order the smaller machine, which is basically the same thing, just smaller and cheaper. They send you all the tools that you need, which is amazing. I got so many free tools out of this, guys! Except for a soldering iron, but the parts that require soldering are optional, so you know, you don't even really need to know how to solder to do this. Those parts are the limit switches, which are a good idea, but they're not really necessary. So while building this a few times, I got stuck, but tech support was amazing. If you're missing pieces, they'll send you replacements. If you're unsure of a procedure, they'll walk you through it. If there's any problem at all, they'll know exactly how to fix it. If your computer is 10 years older than dirt, then they'll provide you with compatible software. I mean, look at this. I'm running this off a MacBook circa 2008. I feel like this thing should be in a bunker on loss. So your computer will work fine with this machine. So yeah, you put it together, plug it into your computer, design something in their software easily, or in Illustrator or some equivalent software, and then send it to the machine and it carves it. With science! You're also gonna need some kind of dust collection system unless you wanna end up breathing out of some kind of apparatus. This is just a test design I got from their site. This is actually my second pass at it because the first time I didn't tighten the drill bit enough and it fell out, but they actually provide you with special wrench is just for that purpose. I can't wait to really get the hang of this because there's so many things I want to carve. There, there's so many tutorials I want to use this in. Will it work on foam? I don't know. So at the end of the day, I'd say this is a fantastic machine. Every time I thought I had a problem, I just called them up and they're like, oh yeah, you've got that on backwards. Or, oh yeah, you gotta just turn that a little bit and it works fine. So if you're a maker, then get one, cause they're awesome. I'd recommend the smaller one if you don't need all this extra space, cause uh, at some point I'm gonna have to move and that's, that's gonna be interesting. It's really worked out great. This is gonna come in handy. Can't wait for more sponsored videos, MakerBot. Thanks, Inventables. Jake out. I think I'll call you Milton. Now make some toast.